Hey guys, uh, this is Amit Ripati and uh, welcome to Automate with Amit. And in this video, basic, uh, in the last video, basically we learned uh, about um, few uh, few menus on the Visual Studio, file, edit, view, git and uh, project. And in this video, we are going to learn uh, other menus uh, which are available with the Visual Studio. So build okay so once we create our solution and project so we have certain um, codes which uh, gets created right uh, you see in the demo project too there is one class and we will be writing our code so to execute our uh, project to execute our uh, program so it is very important to build our uh, project so building means what building means uh, compiler basically checks if uh, that part particular program has any kind of uh, uh, compile time issues, if there are any. So if there, uh, there are any compile time issues, then it will uh, show us error. So right now if we, uh, so that is kind of, uh, it ensures that uh, any program which is going to be executed uh, should not have any um, compile time issues. So while building any particular solution, uh, it uh, compiler ensures it. So just uh, let me click on this uh, build solution. You'll be seeing all the build uh, has started. And uh, you see uh, this build has been completed and two succeeded. Two succeeded means it, it built two projects which got successfully built and we don't have any errors. But if uh, I just uh, create any issue, any uh, error so first of all it will uh, showcase over here that uh, uh, this is some issue with the red lines uh, and also we will be seeing that uh, there are two errors so if we open this uh, error list it is going to show us that there are certain issues and we when we try to build this solution so just try to build this solution so it is going to fail uh, stating that uh, it has two issues. So in output, basically, if we uh, come in output, we are seeing build zero succeeded, one failed. So if we remove this and then again try to build this, then it is going to show us that one succeeded and zero failed. So it is uh, built successfully. Then uh, rebuild uh, and clean. So uh, what happens in uh, uh, rebuild and clean? Clean basically, uh, so when we uh, build any particular solution, any solution when we build all the files, all the DLLs and necessary assemblies and all those things, whichever are required to execute any particular program, any program, uh, any particular program, it gets uh, copied to one folder. So I'll show you one uh, that particular folder where it gets copied. So right click on this solution and just uh, open folder in file explorer. So you see as soon as uh, opened this, it shows this. So it opens this demo solution. So it opens this and it basically uh, what it does So right now, if we you see, uh, it has been debug net 6.0. So it has all the uh, um, all the necessary uh, assemblies and all those uh, files. So it gets uh, copied over here. But if we are going to, if we uh, just clean this solution, so we have clean. So two succeeded. You see, if we go back in this uh, folder, it has nothing. It got completely cleaned. So it got, a com uh, those all files have uh, been removed now. So if we again, uh, see, rebuild, if we build uh, the solution, all the files will be copied to that particular, uh, see, again, it got copied over here. But what happens in rebuild, uh, what happens in rebuild we will be just seeing okay we'll see uh, what happens to this folder uh, okay so just go on build 
and uh, as soon as we click rebuild what happens it cleans the solution and then builds so we'll be clicking on rebuild so as soon as uh, we have uh, done this okay so let me create one method public void so that we see some changes public void method So now if we go and rebuild, it is going to build. Uh, okay, it built. So basically it happens, uh, it uh, occurs that so fast that we can't observe it. But what happens in rebuild, basically it, um, uh, it uh, cleans uh, that particular folder and then builds a solution. And also, I mean, whatever changes are there, uh, it, it it includes that changes. So that happens in rebuild. Okay, so in build, okay. Uh, so rest of the thing, uh, okay. So we will be seeing next debug. So debug is basically, <clears throat> uh, when we write our code, uh, right? Uh, when we write our code and uh, we, uh, we don't want to execute it, uh, but we want to see line by line or uh, whatever line, how it is behaving. So uh, in that way, we use debug, debug mode of uh, Visual Studio. So um, if we want, we'll be seeing how to debug uh, in later videos, but uh, for now, uh, let's understand that what is debug. So basically debug is, when we try to execute our program line by line, so that process is called as debug. So for that, basically, uh, we have a certain start debugging F5, so start without debugging. So like that, there are a step over a step uh, into, so we'll be seeing this step into, how do we do a uh, step into, a step over, and these kind of uh, operations uh, while debugging. Okay, so net, next is test. Okay, so uh, as I mentioned in Test Explorer, we will be seeing all the test related uh, uh, things over here. So whatever tests uh, are there in your solution is going to appear over here. So whatever test related settings uh, we want to see, uh, we will be seeing in this test menu. So a run test, a run all tests is uh, kind of a, a command that will trigger all the tests available in the Test Explorer. Then again, debug all tests. So you will be seeing uh, debug all tests um, one by one. Uh, it will uh, debug uh, all the tests. Configure run settings. So uh, while uh, executing any particular test, uh, we want to certain uh, we want to give certain uh, settings uh, to uh, to test like uh, do something a uh, few things uh, before uh, uh, running this test or uh, like uh, uh, like you can mention any any kind of uh, flags like uh, um, uh, like enable logging or enable uh, parallel testing parallel uh, execute parallelly so those kind of flags if you want to keep so or, or any kind of setting you want uh, that your test uh, should uh, follow so you can uh, create one uh, run setting file and uh, you can uh, configure uh, from this run configure uh, configure run settings then uh, configure remote test environments so like your tests are uh, running on the remote environment or any um, uh, virtual machines or any uh, containers or those kind of things so you will you can configure uh, from here so this test explorer also you are seeing over here so it comes in view also test explorer and uh, it comes in uh, uh, in test also so in view also you can see test explorer here and test also has test explorer okay so analyze is again uh, really much related to the uh, managing code and uh, whatever analysis or uh, those kind of things. So code cleanup, so uh, code analysis. Uh, so uh, like what was the coverage of code? Um, 
and those kind of things we uh, have uh, in this analyze section and uh, tools tools basically um, like uh, if we want to connect to database connect to server so those kind of things we do inside tools uh, we can connect uh, to a sql server and uh, can create any new query or new uh, schema so those kind of things uh, we can uh, create using tools then uh, data lake code sna snippets code snippets is like uh, uh, any code uh, which you are uh, which you need uh, time by time then uh, which you are uh, using in uh, your program and you want uh, that uh, certain uh, character you write and just press tap tap then uh, it should be uh, creating uh, the whole uh, template of that particular program so like in this case if i uh, want to use if else condition so just write if and just double tab press tab tab so see after uh, pressing tab it has created a template of this if statement so that is the kind of uh, code snippet so we can create uh, code snippets into this and we can manage through code snippets manager uh, then uh, another important thing is which we will be using every time is nugget package manager so nugget package manager is basically a marketplace uh, we can say where we uh, uh, get all the um, all the uh, like whatever tools we are going to use inside our visual studio we will uh, we have to go uh, into nugget package manager and from there we have to install that uh, in our uh, visual studio or uh, respective um, project so over here uh, you see if we go package manager or manage nugget package for solution so we will be seeing this window so over here in the browse section you can say um, see this all uh, these all are the uh, projects which are available to use so we can use this uh, inside our uh, we can simply uh, click on any of this newtonsoft.json and we can uh, whichever project we want to um, give the uh, installation so uh, we can select that and uh, install so we will be uh, learning this also how uh, and uh, from where uh, we can give the or download the references on the project so one way is uh, using this uh, so just go in tools nugget package manager and pack manage uh, nugget package for solution and from here uh, you select or browse uh, like if we select selenium so selenium it's going to search and uh, if we want to uh, use this selenium dot browser uh, web driver into our um, demo project too so we can just select it and click on install it will be installed and reference will be added in the demo project too we'll be seeing uh, that too uh, after some time so this was a tool section of uh, and uh, in that nugget package manager was there okay so extensions uh, there are multiple manage uh, like extensions uh, available uh, so like SQL light uh, and then again there are multiple things JavaScript uh, snippet pack we don't use or I would say rarely uh, use this so just to know that uh, whatever extensions we want uh, to integrate with the visual story we, we can uh, use uh, this manage extensions to uh, integrate those then again windows uh, so we have uh, we can manage all those windows uh, say window layout so like if you have a test explorer at this side and this 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 all configurations you have and uh, you want to save those uh, window layout uh, so it will be saved apply window layout certain window lay layouts and all those things so uh, you can uh, use uh, this window section and then again uh, last but not the least help so if you require any kind of help then uh, uh, you can go over here uh, one 
one thing which we use uh, very frequently from help section is about Microsoft Visual Studio. So if you click over here, uh, you just get to know what is the version of your uh, Microsoft.NET framework or uh, uh, what is the version of your uh, Microsoft Visual Studio community uh, studio. So community version, it's uh, 2022 and uh, version 17.3.0. So this, this is something uh, which we have in uh, this. Um, so help section, then my subscription. So if you have something uh, subscribed like a license version or whatever the benefits you get to see on, uh, uh, on taking any subscription, then uh, it will be showing over here. It will take you to uh, Microsoft's uh, uh, website and uh, you can see that. So that was all related to the Visual Studio menu items. Uh, see you in the next video. Thank you.